sunshine. Hey y'all and welcome to today's video where I want to introduce to y'all our brand new four month old Jersey Dexter calf sunshine. She is not the happiest right now because she is in her stall. She isn't out on fresh grass like she's used to, but she will be there very, very soon. We just picked her up yesterday and we are so excited to have her. We have big plans for milking in the next years. She's moving out of the screen, but maybe she'll come back in just a minute. But we have big plans for milking her, breeding her, possibly raising more calves from her so y'all will see much more of her so just wanted to give her the proper introduction in this short little video today so i'll just quickly tell you kind of the rundown of why we ended up getting a dairy calf we had i have always talked about this but it wasn't something that was on the forefront of our plans we have many many home projects going on many barn renovation projects we didn't even have this stall built until about two days ago we kind of had to put it together last minute she's over there getting a little snack but we are a raw milk drinking family and in the last three months we've been having more and more difficulty picking up raw milk in our area there's just been more and more demand for raw milk in our area and the families that we have been getting it from we've now been through about three families picking up raw milk and realized that it was just time for us to jump on and get on that for ourselves now sunshine will not actually be in milk for a couple of years now she's only four months old we will probably wait and breed her until she's between 12 and 15 months old somewhere in there so it'll be the beginning of next summer and then she will not have a calf for nine months then we will start milking her so we are quite a ways out from actually getting milk so we are still temporarily having to find sources for raw milk but it's just made us realize that this is one more thing that we need to put on our list for self-sustainability if we are wanting to the raw milk so a little bit She's talking to y'all. A little bit about her, she is three quarters Jersey and one quarter Dexter. So her dad is a full miniature Jersey. Her mom is a half Jersey and half Dexter. So if you don't know much about Jerseys and Dexters, Jerseys are the typical milk cow. They have the highest butter fat, the highest cream, which we love. We love making butter and cheeses and yogurts and putting cream in our coffee. So we, we knew we wanted a cow that had lots of cream. Hey. Now, Dexters, on the other hand, are a great dual-purpose cow. They are great for meat as well as milk. They will, they don't have as high of that cream content, but with her being three-quarters Jersey, we will get plenty of cream in her milk when we begin to milk her um, within a couple years. So she is just the sweetest girl. I'm really excited to raise her on our property, get her used to us. She's really calm already. I've already been working with her on a lead rope with our, her halter and she's done really well. Um, so we'll continue that. I'll probably bring y'all a little, some videos on how that's going on working with her with the halter and the lead rope. But we're excited to raise her from such a young age. I know so many people have re recommended that getting them at, as young as possible is best, especially if you're gonna be milking them. The more they trust you, the more they're comfortable with you, the more successful milking will be when you get to that stage. As far as milking her, I think some people assume that dairy cows always have milk, and that is not true. They are just like humans. They have to have a baby and produce milk for you to be able to milk them. So just like a human mama, when they have a calf, they produce milk and the calf will nurse off them. If you wanted to just let the calf nurse how nature intended it, that is perfectly fine. But if you want to add a supplement milking session, that will just increase the milk production of the cow. So that is what we will plan to do. So we will have to wait for her to calf within the next year and a half to two years to be able to milk her. But we're excited to have Sunshine on our little homestead to join our family of all the animals around here and to raise her up from such a young age. Um, I know that it will be so beneficial to have her at this early age. Um, teaching her our property and letting her learn me. So currently she's in this stall. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about this build. We, this was all just lumber for our barn. We had lumber stored up for our floor. We didn't have this back wall that's not quite yet finished behind me over there. You can see there's still some gaps. We've got to go back and add some boards there. But this was like a weekend project that we just had to put together really quick. We looked at Sunshine last week and then we picked her up on a Monday. So we basically had about five days to get the barn ready for her to come home. As far as what she is eating, very very soon she'll be out on fresh pasture grass um, we have a front pasture that's 
almost fenced in. We have about six posts to add and a few rails. If you've been around, I've shared our fence progress on this channel and it's just like a non-stop thing. It's like we get working on the fence and then we get to a halt and something happens. So we have been cutting the grass out there all summer and I'm so excited to officially say we will not have to cut the grass out there again because that adds about an hour to our grass cutting chore, cutting that front pasture. So within a couple of weeks, Sunshine will be out there grazing the fresh grass, but currently she is eating some Bermuda hay. We don't have the highest quality nutritional hay down here in Mississippi. Um, there's only certain grasses that can grow. We can't grow things like alfalfa, which I know cows, calves love, but she's eating Bermuda. She loves it. We did find a high quality hay that had not been sprayed. So we hope to continue to be able to find hay like that because that is important to us, what our cow eats, especially when she comes into milk and we are drinking her milk because essentially what she eats, we eat in the consumption of her milk, um, which I'm so, so excited about. If y'all saw my vlog a few weeks ago, we have been without raw milk for almost a month now and if you you know me personally or you've seen me on my channel you know that i love raw milk i love drinking yolky drinks so i am so excited to have our own fresh raw milk even though it is a little ways out we are jumping on that train and getting things rolling for raw milk to be coming into our homestead and i'm just so excited about that if you can't tell um, i'm also so excited just to have her here she is such a sweet girl first met her she let the kids pet her she's so calm and gentle we've been working with her coming a bit i've already visited with her probably five times a day throughout the day just to let her know that we are her family now and that she could be comfortable with us that is so important to establish a good relationship with a new calf um especially when you don't have any family with them we wish we could have brought another calf home with her um so she would have some friends and some company but for now we are her friends her family and her company so that's why we've been visiting with her all throughout the day and working with her on the lead rope we'll eventually get her out into the grass and work with her out there as well so Another thing I'm excited about is, kind of crazy to say this, but her poop. Cow manure is awesome, amazing for garden fertilizer. So, so far, out, anytime she poops, she has a little bit I need to pick up now. I've just been putting it in a pile until we decide where we're actually going to put it to let it set for compost for our garden next spring. So that is just going to be phenomenal to add to our garden. We've been having to buy cow manure in the past for our garden, but now we will have our own and we may still have to supplement a little bit, but She's gonna produce a lot of poop and we're gonna take advantage of that in using it for fertilizer in our garden. I'm sorry, she walked out of the screen. She walked over here to eat some hay. We've got a little bit more to do in her stall. Eventually, if we ever get two cows or horses, this huge stall will become two stalls. But this is just kind of what we put together really quickly this past weekend to get ready for her to arrive at our house. We're gonna have a milking station in this barn as well. I'm sure you'll see some of that here in the future. Um, but I really, really, really want to work with her so much that she is comfortable with just being milked out in the pasture or just walking up to her and milking her. And I know that takes a lot of work and a lot of training. It doesn't happen overnight. And just starting with her at four months of age, I think is gonna put us on the right track to get us there. She is just so calm and gentle already. So I hope we're setting her up for success for milking in the future because that was the ultimate reason we got her. Although she is just absolutely the most precious calf. Come here, sunshine. Hey. Starting to get to where when I call her, she'll come up to me. Um, that's what we've been working on. We've only had her now right at 24 hours and she's done really, really well. <coughs> One thing I have read a little bit about is, oh, you leaving? I think I have noticed, you see she's kind of starting to kind of want to butt her head. That is just a sign that she's wanting to be playful. She's not with any other calves to play with. So to her, I am like a calf. So that is something we're going to have to break. Um, I've been reading a little bit about tapping them on the head and kind of breaking them of that because when you get a six, seven, eight hundred pound cow, you don't want them to be rubbing up against you, even if it is in a playful manner. So right now I think she's doing it just to be playful, kind of to rub against me, rub against my hand, rub against my leg. But we're going to have to break that really quickly because I don't want a full grown cow doing that to me. Um, when that could be really dangerous. So we are working on breaking that. Tyler and I are going to, Come up with a solution for that but other than that she's just so gentle so i share a wide variety of content on this channel 
motherhood, pregnancy, homesteading. So this isn't one of my typical videos where I'm out here in the barn talking to y'all, sweating down because it's really hot here in Mississippi. But I wanted to give Sunshine the proper introduction because I know that she's gonna be a huge part of our family, especially once we're getting milk from her daily. I will bring y'all along for all of that. So welcome Sunshine to our homestead. We are so excited to have you here and y'all be seeing much more of her. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little introduction of our Jersey Dexter calf and I will see y'all in a future video. She's still in your bath. <laughs>